guys, it's Soda here and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how I clean my mouse cage and also going to be adding some new things to it, giving a little bit of a redesign. So some of you may not know that I actually have two female mice. I don't think I've actually shown them on YouTube before, but I do show them on my Instagram. Um, and I know some of you are probably wondering, where's Bean? Well, I'm really sad to say that unfortunately Bean actually escaped his enclosure and my sister's cat actually got him before I did. This happened a while ago. I didn't have him for very long, unfortunately. I'm sorry if you didn't know that until now. I don't really like talking about death on my YouTube channel, but I do talk about them on my Instagram. Although, weird thing is, lately I've been finding wild mouse poo in my studio, which is kind of which is kind of weird and kind of gross. I'm sure you're thinking, ew, that's so disgusting. Your house must be really gross. It's very common here. We get these little mice called field mice, so like these tiny breed of mice. That's the breed that um, Bean was. And I think there might be one living in my studio um, because I keep finding mice poop everywhere. And it's not from these two because I don't let them run around everywhere. And I've been finding mouse poo in all kinds of weird places. So I actually do have a humane mouse trap, which I've set up under my shelf just so I can try and catch this guy because he's pooping all over my plushies and figures. <laughs> and a part of me is thinking, what if my sister's cat didn't actually catch Puzzle and it was a different mouse? And what if Bean has just been living in my shoe this whole time? Who knows? Because <laughs> I didn't actually see her catch Bean, but she did bring in a mouse that looked exactly like Bean into my sister's room. So, you know, we assumed it was Bean, but what if it wasn't? I have this main mouse trap. It's really tiny because field mice a very tiny mice and it's very tiny poop so I'm pretty sure it is a field mouse so pretty much so this is not related to the video at all I've just got peanut butter at the end and it sits on the ground like this and then when they walk in the end it closes like that so hopefully I can catch this mouse that's living in my studio and set it free outside probably at the park or something I don't want it to come back into my studio. Back to the actual subject of this video. This is my mouse cage. Um, it's due for a clean. Where are they? They were out before, I swear. If I open this lid. Oh, here she comes. Hi, sweetie. So yeah, I have two female mice in here. They are both albino, so they're a little bit hard to tell the difference between the two of them. <gasps> you are so cute. Look at you. I absolutely love these two. They're so sweet. And as you can see, there's some poop everywhere. I already cleaned their wheel today, so I don't need to clean that again. They poop on their wheel a lot, so I pretty much have to clean the wheel like almost every day. So that's fun. As you can see, I have a lot of bedding in here, which like not everyone does for mice. But I find my two absolutely love to burrow. This is a mix of aspen shavings as well as um, clean and cozy bedding and some newspaper and some paper towels and stuff like that. Um, I think they like the clean and cozy stuff better so I'm probably just gonna use that today instead of aspen shavings because they really like to take the stuff and bring it into their what are you doing <laughs> they really like to take the stuff and bring it into their little nest I think they have a nest in this um, cardboard box back here so oh my goodness what are you doing so I feel like lately they've been getting a little bit bored, so it is important to change um, their enclosures around quite often so they don't get bored. I don't know where the other one is, she's probably sleeping, so I'm going to probably have to wake her up, which I'll feel really bad for, but they do need to get a clean cage. Alright ladies, let's get this stuff open. Okay, so while I clean their cage, I actually like to put them in this really big uh, playpen thing. This is made for like bunnies and dogs and stuff, but I like to put them in that they really love being in here. And yes, it's still sunny outside, but it is late in the day. Usually I actually do this at night, but I'm doing this at like five o'clock um, in the evening at the moment. But yeah, usually I do it when it's dark, but I didn't want the lighting to be absolutely awful because mice are nocturnal, so they don't really like to be out too early in the day. Where is your sister? Why are you just out? Yuki, what are you doing? No, you can't join them. Oh, there she is. She's got a little head poking out of the little house. Oh, you guys are so cute. All right, so I'm gonna put this wheel in their little playpen for them. They love their wheel, especially at 4 a.m. All right, girl, I'm gonna have to take your house out. I know you wanna sleep in there. Look, this is what they've done with this. They have filled it with all their bedding, 
And there's like food in here too. Oh my god, there's so much in here! What the heck? Oh my god! Okay, clearly they really like the newspaper. Okay, actually, I'll put this in her, uh, in the pen with her. Come here! Oh, there we go. Oh, you're so cute! Look at you. Oh. Alright, so this is the playpen. They're both in there. Oh yeah, I forgot to say their names. So one of them's called Mochi and the other one's called Marshmallow or just Mellow. I can actually sometimes tell the difference. I think this one that's really active is Mochi. There's so much food in here. No wonder their food just disappears so quickly. Um, I can sort of tell them apart sometimes. Um, I think Mochi has slightly longer fur than Mellow, but apart from that, they look very much alike. <laughs> anyway, so I'm gonna let them do their thing. <laughs> what are they doing? I think they found some food. Oh my goodness, look at you! You're so cute. So I think that's Mochi. I think. <laughs> but see how her fur is kind of like scruffier? And we can't really compare it because I don't know where Mellow is. Where's Mellow gone? I think she's in there somewhere. I'm going to use a glove because I don't like the smell of mouse poop and wheeze on my hand. This is what I use to clean the accessories and stuff like that. Um, this is just a KT Clean Cage Habit Deodorizer. De 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 deodor deodorizer. Deodorizer. Right? I have no idea if this is the best one to use for mice. This is literally the only cage cleaner I could find in pit stores. Seems to work fine, so I think it's good. Alright, let's clean this stuff up. That's where the chew toy went. They literally buried one of the toys. There's another chew toy that they buried. Lovely. Okay, so that's actually probably all I'm gonna take out, which actually is quite a lot. More than you probably think. But uh, you don't really want to clean it too much because it still has to smell like them. You gotta clean your cages but you also don't want to over clean your cages because they also want it to still smell like them and it can stress them out if you do um, clean it too much. So today I'm just going to be using the KT Clean and Cozy Small Pet Bedding and I'm also going to be using some newspaper because as you saw they really like the newspaper. I still have some Aspen shavings in here and I think they kind of like the more uh, soft stuff better than the aspen shavings. All right, now I'm going to probably go shred some newspaper and put some in here. got done shredding some newspaper so I will just sprinkle that around maybe rip them up a little bit more so today I also found some stuff for them I got them this little uh, thingy it's called a Sputnik <laughs> Sputnik small animal house and it's really freaking cute. I've seen these in rat cages, like way bigger ones. I didn't know you could get little ones for mice and stuff, so that's really cool. So these can just go like this, or they can hang out from the top. So, I don't know what I'll do. First of all, I do want to put their wheel in, because their wheel is pretty big. Considering maybe taking this um, blue thingy out, because they don't really use it anymore, they did when I first got them. They used to sleep in it and stuff, but now they don't seem to really care about it, so I think I'll just take that out. Alright, 
Alright, alright, alright, alright, alright, alright. That's so freaking cute! I'm gonna put some bedding in there for them so it's nice and comfy. I also got them a new true toy which somehow already got ripped up. I have no idea how that happened. I think my dog did it. Yeah, just a little, um... You know, I don't know what this meant to me. A red carrot maybe? I don't know, but it's a true toy. They probably won't use it because they don't seem to care about their other two toys, but let's see. <laughs> so I'm going to keep this little rainbow bridge in there because this is like the cutest thing ever. Okay, I want to put this box back in there because they really like it. But like, look at this. Look what they've done to this. I definitely think they need a new box, but since they like it so much, I'm going to keep it in there until I can find a new box to put in there. And we're going to put this little, uh, little paper roll in there. I think that looks pretty damn cool for now. So I'm just gonna put them back in it. Here's one mousy. This is mochi, I think, because the long fur. I think it's mochi. Are you mochi? I don't. I'm sorry. Maybe I should just draw a spot on you so I know who you are. I'm kidding. I'm not gonna do that. Wait till you see your nice, clean house. Here we go. And then this. Wait, no, this must be Mochi. Okay, honestly, they both have long fur now. I can't tell the difference. I'm sorry. Who knows, honestly, but... I know Mello is a little bit more skittish. Am I crazy? I'm probably just crazy, right? You're so warm. Let me put you back. There we go. All right. <laughs> uh, I don't know what you are doing. Are you trying to get in there? Can you get in? She's trying to. Oh, there she goes! Oh, do you like it? You are so cute! They're really just walking around exploring it. I love seeing the reaction when I like give the cage a big clean and change everything around. They just like get so happy. Where's your sister? Is she gone missing again? She's probably- oh yeah, she's in there. I can see her moving in there. She's probably just saying Someone destroyed my nest, now I gotta do it all over again. Oh wait, there you are. Hi. <laughs> Aww. Yeah, so I quite like this little thing. I think I'm probably gonna add another thing here. Maybe a small little hidey thing. But uh, yeah. Now you're gonna do the same thing that your sister did? What are you doing? <laughs> oh, you guys are so cute. Hi. I just love these guys. <laughs> They're so funny. Oh! <laughs> this is so cute. They really like this thing. It's a bird toy, I think, but Yuki didn't like it. So it's theirs now. I feel like I want to add another thing here or something. I'm not sure what. Maybe another ladder type thing? I don't know, but I'm sure I will add things. I always end up adding more stuff. Feel free to give some suggestions of what you think I should add. Anyways, hope you guys liked this video. If you want more mouse videos, feel free to let me know and give suggestions. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!